guys, Barbara here. I have a treat for you guys today. I'm going to show you guys how to make bagels. Now let me tell you something about bagels. Normally they should take about 24 hours to make the entire process. I've condensed it down to three hours or less and a lot of that time is going to be downtime. We're just waiting for the stuff to rise, okay? Take a look at, let me show you one. Mm, mm, mm. They're hot right now. I tried this recipe like three times, but I've got it to perfection. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. First, I'm going to show you guys how to make plain bagels, okay? Two and a half cups of bread flour, two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast, and only one tablespoon of sugar. You can omit the sugar, but I promise you, you're going to like it better if you put the sugar in, all right? Two cups of warm water, and just give it a stir with a whisk or with a spatula, and then cover it up for an hour. It's going to foam up like this, and then you'll add a teaspoon and a half of salt and two and a half cups of bread flour. And then all you have to do is use the back end of a wooden spoon. I realize that a lot of people don't own a KitchenAid. That's why I don't like to use my KitchenAid on the show. So just work it into a ball. At some point, you're going to have to get your hands involved. And just take your time with it, okay? I can't give you like a set time that it's going to take to bring this together. But you just have to have patience with it. Wash the bowl out. Put the ball in. Cover it up for one hour. An hour later, this is what we have. So let me go ahead and dump this out on the countertop and get this kneaded up. And you just want to get the air out and make it smooth, okay? So again, put flour if you need to. If you feel it sticky, put some flour. And then make it into a disc or a, um, a circle like this. And then use a big knife to cut that in half. And then the half in half. And then the quarter in half. And pretty soon you're going to have eight equal pieces of the dough to make eight bagels. So that way you won't have to buy a scale. So then just kind of get it worked in like this. You guys see how I need, right? I make it like a, a toad cap almost. <laughs> and then just make the top smooth, pinch the bottom, roll it. And then let me show you what I used the last time when I made it. I used this smaller cutter. And even though the hole looked big, it kind of sealed up on me when it baked. See, I didn't like that. So I'm going to use the bigger one now. And I'm going to use a rolling pin because it kind of poofed up too tall the last time. So I'm learning as we go along. This is like the second time I'm making the bagels, all right? So look, see, big hole, and now we have to boil them in shallow water, and I put some salt and honey in this water, and I'm moving pretty fast because I have another bagel that I'm going to show you guys towards the middle of the video, and so I just want to get through the plain one. So this one, I'm putting sesame seed. You can put any seed you like. We don't like seeds in here, so I'm just going to put the seed on one just for the photo shoot. On the next one, I'm going to put um, extra sharp cheddar cheese, just grated, and then the rest I'm going to leave plain, and I've coated all of it with some um, egg wash. And now the oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to bake these for 30 minutes. About halfway through, you kind of want to move the trays around because you want the ones on the bottom to get brown too, okay? So see how they're looking? Gorgeous. And they smell awesome. And when you cut them open, they look like this. Really, really cooked well to perfection. Now take a look at all these bagels here in my basket, guys. I've got the seed one, the cheese one, and this one right here is the cinnamon raisin. And this is the one that I want to have fun showing you guys how to make, okay? Because that's like my favorite. So look at how it looks on the inside. It's cooked gorgeous, right? Now let's start. Two and a half cups of bread flour. See, it says bread flour. It has to say bread flour, okay? Two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast, two tablespoons of sugar this time, and two cups of warm water from the faucet. Then we're going to need two and a half cups of bread flour later on, two tablespoons of cinnamon, a teaspoon and a half of salt, and a cup of raisins. Pretty simple. Baking sheet with parchment paper, the skimmer, the cookie cutter, and remember this time around I'm going to use the bigger one because I want the holes bigger. The wooden spoon to stir with, the rolling pin, and of course, uh, the egg with the barbecue brush. So this is all that you need. And let me go ahead and show you this list right here. See? And you're going to need a few more things. So let's go over that right now. And we're also going to need a shallow skillet or pan to boil the bagels in. Take a look. They only need to be boiled in about five cups of water, okay? So let me start by adding the sugar and then the yeast and then the warm water. Now it's not quite topped off at the two cup mark, so I'm going to top it off because we want to be very precise, all right? And we may need like a little bit more. So let me go ahead and pour the warm water in and get it worked in with the back of my wooden spoon. Pretty easy. 
And so you don't need appliances to do this, guys. You can do this, you know, with what you have in the kitchen. You can use the end of a spatula probably too if you have a good sturdy wooden spatula. And then just give it a stir. See, I added a little bit more water. Well, that's the same water from the two cups. Now I'm adding this little bit extra. It's not even an ounce extra that we need because we needed to come to this like oatmeal -y consistency. Cover it up for like an hour. Cover it up loosely, all right? One hour, it's going to look foamy. And then I'm going to add my two and a half cups of flour to this bigger bowl because I want to add the salt, the cinnamon, and the raisins in here. And I need space to stir it, all right? I need room to stir. So let me go ahead and get this worked in. And then... All we have to do now is dump all this dry into the wet. Kind of like when you're making a cake, right? And then just work. The, look at it. Check this out. Look how elastic this look. Man, this, this bread flour, let me tell you, I've never worked with bread flour before, but it is awesome. So get it worked in and get it worked in really well before you get your hands involved. And then at first you get one hand only. And I constantly say that it's my clean hand, but both my hands are clean, okay? I want to say it's my dry hand. So get one hand in and then dump it out at some point when it's getting annoying and then you get your other hand involved then you just kind of work it in the raisins are going to try to escape you but don't fret because you're going to get it in there and then at some point when it's really really starting to bug you you go and you wash your hands and dry them and then you come back and you knead like this you guys let me tell you something if you don't like kneading you don't like having fun because kneading to me is such fun put some flour. I'm trying to give you guys a different angle from the camera so you guys can see how fun this is. <laughs> now it's a big ball. Go ahead and set it back in the clean bowl. I've washed the bowl already. Boom. It's in here. Cover it up. Walk away. Go watch TV. Come back one hour later. Voila. Our dough is ready. So let's begin. Remember what we did last time, right? Roll it out onto the counter make it smooth add more flour if you need to this one's not as sticky as the plain one you have to watch that first amount of water that you put in and then make it into a disc or a round circle and then cut it in half and then in half and then in half and so you're going to get eight and this is the way that i know the best to get even amounts without having to go out and buy a scale all right so then put some flour in your parchment paper start kneading you know fold tuck nip tuck and then roll it over Use the rolling pin, of course, to go on ahead and flatten it. Oh, if the raisins are sticking out on the side, stick them inside because they'll burn, okay, when they're baking. So then roll it kind of flat and then use the big one to cut out the hole. And don't worry if you don't have a cookie cutter. I'm going to show you another way that you can make a hole without having to have the cookie cutter. But I really like the cookie cutter idea best, all right? So don't throw away the little insides that we're cutting out because we're going to get eight pieces because it's eight bagels. And from those eight pieces, I'm going to show you what we're going to do, okay? So let me do one more to show you guys. So see, you have two. Now let me work on the other one. And look, now we have eight. So all you do is grab four and four, and you have two more bagels. They'll be a little bit smaller than the regular bagel, but it's fine. Now just tear a hole in the middle and work it around really, really big. Kind of like when those people are stretching their ears with the earring. <laughs> so now you get ten. And um, the oven is um, preheating right now. And then I'm going to boil my water. This time I'm, I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar. You can also add pancake syrup or maple syrup if that's what you want to do. And then just go ahead and dump it in here. For the plain ones, remember we added salt and honey, but not a lot of honey. And just go ahead and flip them off the one minute. Look at me now being a pro, knowing how to flip them. Do you guys see what I did differently though? I only put two in the pan instead of three. <laughs> and then drain them here on the cooling rack or the wire rack. Put the egg wash. You guys want to know what I do with this leftover egg? I fry it and I eat it in my bag when it's done. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste here at the Bear Pantry Kitchen. Sometimes I wish you guys were here with me when I'm recording my shows. So into the oven they go at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. Remember halfway through to go ahead and switch the trays around because you want the ones on the bottom to have an opportunity to be kissed by the heat. So here they are, they're ready. They're so stiff and crunchy and crispy. Guys look, see? I cut this one open. Isn't this awesome? Put some butter on this because I'm going to taste for you guys right now. Just like I promised, guys. I made them real simple. Less than three hours. You saw the first hour is for it to foam up, the second hour for it to rise, and then 20 minutes again, then we boil them, and then we bake it. Now, I don't really know why we boil them. I know it has something to do with the chewiness, but I think in the history that they said, that it's like for a cleansing ritual or something like that. I don't really know, so don't yell at me if I'm wrong, okay? Now, if you have just you and your honey, these 10 bagels should last you like all week, right? 
but if it's like a big family like mine these are going to be gone by tomorrow especially because i have to schlep some over to leah and mom because they taste the bad ones when i made the bad ones the first time around the second time around is what i showed you guys i didn't flatten them enough and i didn't make the whole bake the first time around i made them i didn't put any sugar at all i didn't like them like that so basically i changed everything around to suit me and this is what i do here at the bear pantry kitchen you guys i want you guys to know that Google always contacts me behind the scenes and they're like, you know, the people are only watching four minutes and 19 seconds of any one of your videos. I'm like, that's okay. Even if I have like 50 to 100 diehard people out of the 23,000 that I have and you guys watch it through to the end, I'm okay with that because my videos are about eight minutes long, sometimes longer when I have a guest. But I'm not doing it for what Google wants me to do. I'm doing it for you guys. And for the people that went to chef school and might get mad because I made it so simple, forgive me guys, but I really and truly want my viewers to make these. Come on guys, you guys, I mean, bagels are pretty cool. Make sure you use bread flour and not all-purpose flour because it'll fall apart on you if you use all-purpose flour, okay? So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the show, for liking, for sharing, for giving me the thumbs up, and for commenting. I really look forward to your comments. Until I see you guys again, take care. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Please check out my other channels, the Product Review channel, my family vlogs, and Joe's channel. You can find all the links in the description box below.